Well, the rumors are in fact true. King Pan O Chocola has inherited Sardinia after the very tragic, very untimely demise of his 68 uh, year old perpetually drunk and, and, and constantly stuffed father. I suppose it probably wasn't really before his time, was it? I think he lived quite well, all things considered. Then he bought a uh, recreation of the Pope's outfit and God struck him down, which is fair enough, really. Hello, uh, today, today I have big plans. Sorry, there hasn't been an episode recently. I've been very, very tired, very tired working on the new Rimmel mod pack. You know how it goes, really. It's, it's the start of a new series. It's nonstop nonsense. Anyway, uh, King Pano Chocolat of Sardinia, look at this. The first ever proper stewardship character. 20 stewardship gives us an opportunity to build up this realm like no other. I like the suggestions I saw last episode from a lot of people saying, look, we, we've got, you know, like a pretty big income now. We've got a character who's going to wrestle control of this economy in no time. Let's go maybe butt wild with the feasts and the events and more importantly, the grand weddings. Really punch above our station. To be fair, we're a double king. Yeah, we've got the Kingdom of Pisa and the Kingdom of Sardinia, technically. So, I mean, we're doing pretty well, all things considered. I think this is a great character to be investing into the future generations. I would love to get a martial character coming up next, though. I think that this guy would see the uh, uh, the 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 value of having a guy who would be trained to expand their realm even further. He's a man who knows what the benefit of all this good money is and all this good land is. And how do you get good land? We're going to need someone to wrestle a lot off of them. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this guy had, yeah, I mean, look at that, all the way down through to, uh, almost the architect perk, which is fantastic, because that's probably where I would have taken him anyway. Maybe we go down Avaricious, but I want to play the character, and I think Avaricious is, uh, is kind of contrary to what he's got. He's honest, he's trusting, he's compassionate. None of those go along with Avaricious, in my opinion. He's quite a kind man, isn't he? Honest, trusting, and compassionate. I feel like he's, uh, he would definitely be donating a lot of this money to charity. Maybe we go down to, uh, administrator instead. Honored to serve? It seems very appropriate for him. I'm not really sure. Because a lot of these don't really make sense, but we'll see how it goes, I think. Anyway, uh, first things first. Let's catch up with the whole situation then. Still a little bit worried about Count Jeffrey of uh, Vecchio. If he dies, we'll lose some territory there. We can just go back to war, so it's not a big deal. Um, we can ask the Pope for gold. I'm very surprised he's willing to give it to us, given that we are walking around uh, sinfully dressed as him in Pope cosplay. Your daughter and heir, creme brulee Carlin, can marry. Now look daughter and heir. She has a, uh, a legitimate child. Bear in mind, she was married to the Doge of Venice, who died. This kid's probably going to eventually be the character I want to play as. A and I think we can either go matrilineal and keep her in the court. What if we go grand wedding matrilineal? Does that make any change? We can marry her to the prince of the Byzantine Empire. Huh. Matrilineally. Huh. And he's also got robust, which is quite nice. Um... Well, that would certainly give us some strength, wouldn't it? <laughs> They're kind of classed right now. Oh, orthodox. Okay, fair enough. Um, I didn't know because that was red. Can't obviously in CK2. That's how they show a uh, um, a heresy. Interesting. I could be persuaded, to be honest. I, I want to keep a matrilineal regardless, just to ensure that we are keeping her in the family because she's got genius I, I i think genius plus robust we could end up with a baby an even better character than pano chocolat worst case scenario we end up playing as a genius character this guy has seventeen thousand troops we're going to get an alliance with the basilius we'll start saving up for this grand wedding we'll make it as grand as possible this is pretty nuts we're also getting more prestige than him which is a nice change of pace yeah okay i'm in i i think that's pretty great but let's negotiate some alliances then um, my brother-in-law, Prince Andre of France, doesn't really have much. We've got Count Ludolf, the generous. Hey, what relation are you, then? Um, oh, sister's husband. Fair enough. Good shit. Uh, Count Geoffrey of Vessio. Yeah, again, a, a little bit worried about him. Prince Croissant II of Sardinia, our brother. And then we have Duke Philip. This one's actually important because it's not inside of the round. The Duke of Toulouse, that one's pretty good. Hey, that's nice. Should we start saving up for this, uh, wedding, then? Thank you, Pope. I mean, immediately. I think we've probably got more than enough money. I am honored by your request, and I'll be glad to call you an ally. Thank you. I think that does, much like in CK2, stop them joining factions, right? Duke Felica and Creme Car Caramel are now married? 
Did I already marry her off? Oh, sorry, that's creme caramel. I'm thinking of creme brulee. It's very confusing when they've all got such similar names. Great. Okay, lots of alliances here. Now, how long before they have to get married? So he is 11. We've got five years to save up. Amazing. I always, I also look forward to the grand wedding. Try not to disappoint. I mean, we could afford to splash some money around right now then. That's not really a big deal. Let's have a look. I think first things first, what I might do here is slap. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, this is a problem. Let's move you to there and let's put, oh, but I really do like him being a steward. I think uh, we're going to have to make Caravan Master a high priority thing so that we can try and get some sort of chancellor here. We're looking for somebody with high diplomacy. You're pretty good. Gwillem. Gwillem is a fine choice. Totally agree. Oh, and look at that. Our villagers are all coming together too. Damn. What a legacy. What a legacy Morang left behind her. What a guy. Um... Where did Gwillem go? Oh, is it because he's Caravan Master? I have to fire him first. I I'll throw Arnard in, and then we'll fire you. I don't know if I can do that and then immediately put him back on the council. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Hey, that's not a bad council. I'm happy with that. So one, the, the, the big goal with this character, as we discussed last time, is to try and make that French Sardinian melting pot culture. So we're improving the uh, cultural acceptance right now. It's going up by 0 0.84 per year, which is quite nice. Um, let's have a look at Sardinian culture then and see what we are. So form hybrid culture. Less than 40. How is it you see the... I don't remember how you see the acceptance between them again. 21%. Oh, that won't take any time at all. We'll get all those innovations. It puts us a cultural head, which gives us a nice advantage. There's lots of good benefits to that one, so I'm kind of happy to see it through. How much was a grand wedding? It's probably a better question. Hello! As I pace towards my throne, I overhear my knight Alberto proclaiming something to my wife Catherine. That scrumptious woman who charms me so, where oh where did that woman go? Although perhaps she'll break my heart yet, but to fail to try would be a bigger regret. Is he... Uh, excuse me. Are you chatting up my wife? She very much likes pan au chocolat. Uh, what, what dynasty is she from? Oh, House Normandy. Right, of course, because I kind of worry about them being inbred, but I think we've managed to dodge that pretty well. Um... I mean, we're honest, trusting, and compassionate. I guess we'll just go for the trusting aspect then. Fine. We'll just trust that he's doing it to recite some lovely poetry. This court is sinful. <laughs> we are going to get hit by a lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I think we could afford to invest a little bit of cash here into the court. We're going to go for uh, outmoded fashion. We're going to go for modest food. We're going to go for some more servants. And we're going to go for some more lodgings. That will lock us into grandeur level 5. Do we get any sort of benefit at grandeur level 6? Convince du jour territory councillor task. Okay. Courtiers who lived in the royal court for more than 5 years get a special trait. I, I like that a lot. To be fair, we could afford to go higher than that. I think we're going to take it up to level 3 on all of the... On all of the options. That takes us up to a pretty significant baseline. Like six and a half there. Do you want to change the court style? Diplomatic court was what Labaget implemented. But. That's our opinion. Max personal schemes plus one. I like that a lot. That's quite far away though isn't it? Monthly lifestyle experience plus 10%. Ooh I like that one a lot too though. That's at level seven. Ooh shit. I might actually try and push it up to level seven in that case. If we do that, it gives us a nice safety net. The new amenities will cost 2.07 a month. I, honestly, I think we just send it. <laughs> I think we just absolutely send it. 3.31 a month. Oh no, we're still getting 15 gold a month. What a terrible shame. I, I, I think we roll with it then, huh? I think we just absolutely send it. And then we get that lifestyle benefit. Absolutely. Look at that. Horticulture fashion. Exhausting foods, endless servants, and grand lodgings. Oh, what a court. And I mean, look, we already had the fashion down. I didn't have to worry about that one so much. 15.6 gold. Oh, no. We're still making a ridiculous sack of cash. Amazing. And then, of course, with all the court grandeur events. Oh, wife is pergonent. Now, if she has a son, that son will take precedent over the firstborn son of the firstborn daughter, right? Let's pray that this kid ends up genius. I think we, we've got a very high chance of it, right? Because of the intelligent, the architect, his ancestry, blah, 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 blah. Look at that hat. My God. She looks like a Dragon Ball character. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at his hat. Oh. 
Wow. The Byzantine court of Rully. Uh, and I thought our fashion was good. We are a... Uh, oh, well, we were, were at least a court of funny hats. He's taken off his papal crown. Grandeur rank increased. I guess he's taken that off in line with the court grandeur increasing. I'm not sure. I have brooked Duke Berengar and his villainy for far too long. Sometimes I dream of driving House Souls back into the dirt. Removing that blathering family from the annals of history. I feel like an honest, trusting, compassionate man would not want to drive anybody into the dirt. So we're going to ignore that. Even though I do think the uh, feud event's quite fun. Play the carrots, all right? Um, I can ask the Pope for claims. We'll just have a quick look. I'm not going to really pursue it too much. Genoa could be a good one. That's not bad at all. Um... The rest don't really make sense. I, I guess eventually we'll use the Pope to... Uh, of course, we want to make uh, Ballet of Tyrrhenia, right? We'll use the Pope to uh, disseminate some claims through Italy, Sicily. Oh, we could even start fabricating some claims down here, right? Because these we will eventually need, and it would just be incorporated into our realm. Four out of nine in our domain size. We could fight al now that we've got the Byzantines at our back. Ooh. I could be very persuaded. We could start fabricating claims. Actually, can we just go for a holy war? You do not have a Cass's ballet. Okay. I think we start fabricating claims then. And maybe we just crab random islands throughout the Mediterranean and start building that up. That could be quite powerful for us. And then we'll sit and then I'll worry about this grand wedding because I really don't want to offend Byzantium because then we can actually do quite a lot of good stuff with this. Without needing to build up our own army as well. Hello. Uh, do we want to go to Duke Archambault's grand wedding? I suppose we probably should. Let's go then. Raymond, welcome. Uh, let's go for some experienced captains. Actually, there's barely any root danger at that point. But just in case, where are we traveling through? A couple of forests. And we've got a little bit of mountains in Carcassonne. Let's go uh, forest guides. Takes us down to two and three. We go Mountaineers, three and three. Well, let's go for the Forest Guards, and that seems pretty good. Okay, sure. I'm happy with it. Do we want to customize the route? Lots of people are saying, please customize your routes a little bit more. Go see points of interest. But there isn't really any places along the way. There's a mining settlement. If we visit that, we gain 200 stewardship lifestyle experience. I could be persuaded to divert over to there. Into Alez. I, I think that's not a bad shell, actually. Um... So we're going from Cagliari. How do I... We've got to remember how to use this now because I so rarely do anything. So that's a location on the map. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we're going to leave. We're going to head up through that mine. Is there anything else we want to visit along the way? Not really. There isn't anything of particular value. Man, look at all of this up here. If you visit like Offa's Dyke and there's a Hadrian's Wall, there's a lot of stuff in... Northern Europe. We're actually going to, like, the one place in Europe where there isn't anything really massively worth visiting. I would love to take Garrett and just go on an enormous tour. Try and hit every single site. It would be uh, completely nuts, but it'd be a lot of fun. Okay, sure. Let's do it then. Let's go. Judith Woofing. She is frightening. She's a frightening lady. And Bertha de Plancy. Amazing. Let's get out of here then. Oh, grand wedding cancelled. Why? No longer attend her grand wedding. What do you mean? Creme brulee. What? What happened there? Because we entered into a regency. How odd. I presume when we... Oh, there you go. Visited the mining settlement. Amazing. We haven't actually been there yet, but fair enough. Um, so hold on. Uh, hopefully when we stop having a regency... Oh. Roger Carling. He is genius. Good news. And he did take precedence as heir. Now, look, we haven't yet made that hybrid culture, right? I am, however, going to name him Biscotti because it's such a good name. May you grow strong and wise, my son. We've got to find that middle ground between Italian culture, because, of course, we were in Pisa for a long time, Sardinian culture, which is our new home, and then, of course, that classic French culture that we came from. I like Biscotti. I think that's quite good. Ooh. I mean, I do like Biscotti. Uh, a derelict ship. The sea is calm and forgiving today, still as a boulder and as powerful and a powerful wind at our back to boot. Seems to be an easy day for the rowers below. Do you want to investigate the derelict ship or do we want to move on? Uh, there's no real massive negative. We, uh, we might just, there's no chance of like us dying or anything like that, at least on the surface. 
We do take a bit of a delay. At worst, we spend 75 prestige. We found nothing. That's okay. I think it was worth the gamble. There is the uh, uh, mine. Although apparently it gives you that before you even leave. Oh, there you are. Now it's popped up. Weird. I wonder why that popped up before then. Very strange. It's known that the people of Carlat seem to profess, uh, profess a special devotion towards their knights and their legends. I shall never leave a knight unattended. Lead the way or forget about this foolishness and join us. Do you want to follow this knight on his journey or do you want to just recruit him? He is very good. But we're compassionate and trusting. So I think we would absolutely join him in his journey. Ooh, healing water. This is actually very good. The night leads us on a small clearing where a natural fountain glimmers. The light reflects on its surface with a blissful shimmer, and it makes the water look so bright it feels like a second sun. Careful, a beast, a guardian. The knight points at the stag standing between us and the fountain. We can fight it, but we're not uh, exactly equipped for such a thing. I'll distract it, you get the water, or you shall make a fine distraction. We're compassionate and honest. We would never do such a thing. We, we, have very, we have a very small chance here of getting the uh, healing water. Actually, we have a, a, a higher chance of succeeding if we fight the stag. Oh, the beast wounds you. Damn it. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, such nice locals. They've given us some supplies. Oh, very kind. What does that do for us? Travel speed up by 10 and safety plus 5. Thank you, friend. And here we are. We finally arrived at the wedding. Maybe a little bit late. We've got another 30 days before it begins. Good God, we're taking a lot of time out of our day for this then, aren't we? Hey, another night. That's good, because we need to fill a lot of empty night positions right now. We could always just afford to pay for them. Ooh, that's an ominous amount of gold, isn't it? I can't wait. They're standing at the ready. Very good. Getting lots of gifts. They're losing a lot of stress. We got a stewardship lifestyle perk. And our wound is healed, more importantly. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we're getting scarred, which I, I mean, obviously in Seeker 2 is just a benefit, and this it is as well. Very good. The ceremony has finally reached its climax. The traditional rituals have been completed, and all that's left is the final vows. Very nice. Here we are at the thing we're going to enjoy, the feast itself. That was 46 days of banqueting. We've lost 25 stress. Very good. This must be the way peasants eat, because we're so rich and we've got such a grand court. This is humbling us. Very good. Life reaffirmed. We're, we're, we're realizing how good we've got it back in Sardinia. Very nice. That's a cool event. That's a good idea. Every feast. There's always one. Every single feast. One long-winded, ill-born pissant cowering, uh, cornering people who would just not be silent. We can generally exit the conversation. 50% chance we do gain that diplomacy lifestyle perk. But we also lose stress because we're compassionate. Um, I guess we'll go for it then. Unfortunately, we didn't get the perk. That's all right. Uh, by any reasonable standards, the evening's food is an exciting medley of textures, flavors, and spectacle. That's not what you were saying 30 seconds ago. I guess today they saved up all the food for this feast here. Um, whose side do we want to join in this argument? Uh, one will give us intrigue, and the other will give us a small, um, oh, a small amount of intrigue. Or we just nod along and make friends with them. I think we shall speak to Duke Raymond. Gain some intrigue lifestyle experience, which I don't think we can really do much from. The banquet hall's trimmings are beautiful. A medley of murals and rare flowers... Uh, 100 stewardship lifestyle experience if we speak to Duchess Maria, or we can guarantee becoming friends with Raymond. You know what? I like the idea. Let's do it. Very good. What a, what a fun journey, huh? Man, this goes on for a while, eh? Uh, who do we want to back now? One gives us learning lifestyle experience. Yeah, let's go for that one. Fair enough. And now it's time for the speech. Shall we praise the happy couple as expected? Shall we praise the party? Which will please Archibald but upset Katarina. Or say something sweet but perfunctory. Um, let's praise the happy couple as expected. Let's do our duty. Now it's the bedding ceremony. Which I presume we're not just going to stand around for. Ooh, and we can gain the trait Eager Reveler. Now look. I mean, ultimately that's kind of what killed his, his father, right? Maybe this guy is interested more in the people and less in the food and the drink. Given that he is compassionate and honest and trusting and blah, blah, blah. Um... That's kind of fun. I like that. Intrigue plus one. Penina Vega Reveler carries. It'd be a nice excuse to start trying to build up something like this. We didn't really have many pieces of our last guy, given that he was... Given that he was so interested in drinking food. I guess he was keeping it all for himself, right? We meaning to talk to Jean. We could become friends with Jean de Dross. No, let's go for Ega Reveler. I think that's kind of fun. I like the idea that this guy's uh, a bit of a social butterfly. Congratulations again. Are we finally going home? My God. Months and months spent over there, and finally, more importantly, Architect. It's good that we got a little bit of experience in, able to stop off that mine and learn a few things along the way then. Oh, look at that. Village centers constructed. We've got more domain being built here. 
Wow. So that's all totally built. That's all totally built. We can build a new holding there. We'll save up for this grand wedding. I want this grand wedding to be as explosive and massive as possible, mainly because that guy's an eager reveler now. An imposing man is standing on the road before us. I am Jocelyn of Tarine. I have bested dozens of men in combat. Um... Should we just trample him and move on? <laughs> um, or shall we have Adamar fight him and potentially recruit him to our court? He's not even that good. I'm just going to trample him. <laughs> That's so funny. As we traverse the plains, stretching through the grass, we notice a wayward shrine. Here lies Saint Alice of Gascon, blessed daughter of Agonis. Cast down this heterodoxy. St. Elise has a nice ring to it. I think we're, yeah, again, kind of trusting, compassionate. I think we would show a little bit of deference to this shrine. You know, because it means a lot to the people who live there. There is. Uh, journeying through Castle Nordori, I pass by a peculiar looking tent. It's a strange man who wants to uh, offer us a reading. Hey, look, we're trusting. Tell us our future. Bad omens for five years. Well, that's not good just as we're, uh, as we're about to board a ship. On a fine day, the weather is nice, the pasture of Car Carcassonne look great, and the local livestock positively jumping and cheering in their own guttural manner. We can apply some of this back home. It's a 100% chance that we can improve pastures for 15 years. Whoa! Building construct. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the county of Cagliari, our capital, minus 15% building construction time, minus 15% building construction cost, 20% holding tax. Good God, man. Well, maybe we should start building then, huh? On our way through Narbonne, we appear to have stumbled into a local food market. Oh, I can't believe I almost ate this garbage. I feel like my man, you know, he's, he's compassionate, but he loves the food, clearly. I mean, he made such a big deal about it at that last feast. Judith needs to rest, and absolutely we will wait for her to rest. Took us a couple of days there, but I think we're going to get back without much of an incident. Princess Cecilia of Sardinia needs educating. Uh, sure. Cecilia Carling, by all means. Thank God I can go inside again. And here we are. We're no longer sharing power with Creme Brulee. Thank you, Creme Brulee. I should have checked the Regency and see if she was, um... Oh, look at that. Visited the capital of Sardinia. We gained learning experience for that. Um, I mean, yes, we do. We're from there. Anyway, is the Grand Wedding still back on? I certainly hope so. We're not employing a court physician. Well, we bloody should be because we can afford it. Can we search for a new court physician? Because these are all average. I mean, Catherine's not bad. She is genius after all, which I presume will give some sort of benefit. 12 out of 15 nights. We are slowly building up here. I'll recruit a couple of people. Let's just fill some gaps. That's good. Because we haven't really had full nights ever, as far as I remember. Um, let's search for a caravan master too. It's worth the cost, pretty much. Let's see who we get. Hello. Uh, very good in intrigue. And you are, oh, you are very good. Uh, Jocelyn, we'll take you. It's, I think it's worth the 140 gold just to keep it stacked up a little bit, right? This is going well. You're still looking for new commanders, right? Uh, yeah, let percent chance to find a new commander tonight each month. You're still working on our... How are we feeling? 24% acceptance. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time, but we're going to need a lot of prestige and things like that to build up beforehand, aren't we? Now, I do still want to save up for this grand wedding. Don't get me wrong. How long have we got? Three-ish years. Born 11th of June. It's about two and a half years. To not build up now seems a little silly. So I think we upgrade the castle. Because we've got so many reductions, right? Minus 15% building time. How much is it normally? It's a shame I can't find out how much is it normally and see our, like, total uh, reduction. But yeah, no, that's pretty crazy. Let's go with it, then. Let's get that upgraded. Can we upgrade this castle, too? Um, we can if we had the money, because we've got battlements. So I think we'll probably save up and also build this castle. Now, what was it we needed for the next level of mine? We need the keep building, which we can get up to, right? We can indeed. So we could upgrade the next level of mine too, bringing a load more cash, even with those court amenities. I mean, look, 17.9 gold per month. And that's for, the, of course, that 10-year period. One of our allies lost the war. Not that I'm too bothered about that one. Do I have to start saving up for that grand wedding? I probably can't afford to throw down the... Uh... Ooh, we got the claim. Oh, we got the claim on the whole duchy. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Let's definitely save up. You could declare wars. Couldn't I just? We go for Emperor of Berthold the Repulsive. It would be a close war when you consider all of our stuff. I'm not going to push someone at a random count's claim. Um, the Sultan. Oh, down in Tunisia. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, obviously, I want to go for Al-Andalus. 
My claims on the Emirates of Mallorca. I mean, presuming our allies actually come in, it's probably an easy war. Because once you take an island, we can just sit there and camp it like the water score tick up. They're not going to boat bomb into all those troops. And it's, what, one, two, three counties, which we can hold personally. It would be pretty huge. I know I was going to save up, but this would be... What do you think? Do you think we deal with the kind of... The cultural aspects of Sardinia first. Make that hybrid culture before we introduce a new variable. I do still want to save up. I'm not going to lie. I think we need to... Um, <laughs> I think we need to work on the cash pile a little bit more. Hello. Uh, someone wants to forge regalia. She's competent. I don't think we're going to do that. I think we'll ignore it for the time being. Let's just save up for the next three years. And if they're... Uh, maybe we could have a celebratory war after the wedding is over just to... <laughs> just to go grab some islands. That seems pretty good. Ooh, do you want to become a witch? As I open my eyes in the dark, I'm immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Pano Chocolat? I sit up suddenly completely awake. I look around for the source of the unfamiliar woman's voice, but there are only shadows. The horned god offers you his blessing. Um, my guy is very pious. I, I feel like... Uh, even though he is trusting. To say that he would just be like, okay, I trust you, witch. I feel like that's not... You know, he's he's never shown any sort of inclination towards that. He's quite dedicated. You know, he counts as a devoted servant currently. So I feel like we probably wouldn't... We probably wouldn't go for that, right? Let's hire some knights. Let's hire some knights. We might as well fill that out. And then if we get any more... You know, better nights before we go to war, because I think our troops can do a lot of damage during this uh, during this upcoming conquest. Let's throw... Oh, you're pretty good. Yeah, like that's pretty much what I was looking for, right? Much better nights than what we've got currently. I think that's worth the cost. Now we've got to save up, okay? No, no more money. You, got, you can't spend any more money. We've got to wait. There's two years before they get married. We've only got 256 in the coffers. We could try and maybe ransom some people. Do we even have anybody? We've got a stewardship perk. Um, we've got nobody in the prison. I just don't think worry about it, huh? I just uh, don't worry about it. Um, likable, soon forgiven positions, power, toe the line, honored to serve, and then administrator. Golden obligations, vassal tax, month income at war. I just don't think he's a particularly avaricious man. He's very good in the diplomacy department. I, I feel like what we could do. What do you think? 20% of the... I, I feel like uh, for somebody trying to basically invent a whole new culture, Scholar has a lot of merit. I also feel like Diplomacy has a lot of merit, following his father's footsteps a little bit. Overall, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, I, d I just feel like a lot of this administrative stuff. Let's go for Golden Obligations, and then let's move away. And I think I would move over to... I think I would move over to Diplomacy. Why can't we move over? Uh, oh, we got to wait a year. Okay, fair enough. That, that's, that's totally all right. We can do that. We'll move over to diplomacy instead then. Try and form alliances as we did before. Again, he's, he's quite good at... Uh, whoa. Do we want to buy a war hammer for 280 gold? Oh. We're trusting. We are trusting. Oh, but also, you're a reveler. He, he would... I, I think we're just going to have to take the stress. I, 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 like, he's got no interest in that, and he does have an interest in a feast, even though he's, he's upset to see that man turned away. He also knows that, look, there's a feast on the line here. The more money we save up, the better the feast we can have. No, that's simply not how you say it. The venerable scholar who invented the word said it was pronounced the way I'm saying it. My sister, Clara, and I are having a raging debate. Um, but we can agree to disagree. It is as I say, that's the end of it, or it's gibbet, and I'll prove it. Are we having a, an argument between... Gibbets and gibbets is the doom moment all over again. I think we just agreed to disagree. I think we agreed to disagree. He's, he's a very diplomatic man. Oh my god. Was I seeing things or were, were those child's eyes very spooky then for a second? Biscotti gained rowdy. What did I say at the start of the episode? I would love a martial character. Holy shit. Okay. Um, well, I'm an excellent educator. We've got pretty decent learning. We've got all right, Marshall. I, I think it's more the fact that we're intelligent. It would give us total control over the child. Rather than trusting him in the hands of a, a guardian who might not do 
exactly what we want simultaneously. Let's have a look around through the court and see if we've got anybody. We could put it in the hands of, say, Adamar. Very, very, very good marshal. Kind of low in the learning front, but more stats than us overall, but we're intelligent. He is only good. I don't know what metric this is judging the, uh... I mean, it's got to be just some sort of mathematical, you know, calculation for the tooltip. So in that case, I'm going to trust it. And I think we're going to go with us educating Biscotti. I, I think we're a good educator. I, we're probably the best in the court, even though our relevant stat is kind of low. We've got a lot of other good stuff going for us. Um, people want to create artifacts. Uh, the Pope's going to pay for the... Oh, he gave us 400 gold. <laughs> so hang on. The money the Pope gives you is based on... Oh. Yeah, we'll pardon you because we're kind. Um... So the amount of money the Pope gives you is based on your is based on your income. That's bizarre. Okay. You'd think it would kind of work the opposite. The Pope wouldn't give so much money to such a wealthy king because you're already wealthy in the first place, yet the smaller rulers who want to say, I don't know, found a holy order like we now have the option to do might deserve more cash. Very bizarre. Should we found uh, sh should we introduce a new Fashion at court. I think we absolutely would. Should we exoticize the Grand Hall? Not for 315. Save your money. If we've got enough money left, we will absolutely found a holy order. We've taken a lot of money from the Pope. I think he's going to expect something. I strut around my court, proud of my new bold fashion forward statement. My heavy golden boots shimmering in the lights of the Cagliari Hall. What are you wearing? My daughter Crembley cries out. She throws insults back and forth, and she is mocking my outfit. Oh... She loses a lot of opinion. You lost 35 opinion to me because I wore golden boots. I think we gained less opinion for murdering people. Good lord. <laughs> there you go, court grandeur increased. We can also train for a tournament. Oh, that's fun. Well, there's a lot of options we haven't been able to take yet, but now we... Uh... Oh, Philip Capet died. It was only a, what, like a count or a prince? He was not super relevant. Your dynasty has a lot of octogenarians. So the dynasty head, which I'm still a little bit in or isn't us... Duke died to the brave. When he dies, I think we will become dynasty head. I just don't understand how he's so influential. Has gone all in on the... Whoops, sorry. I, mean, oh, I, I cut that button every single time when I mean to go for the legacies. They've gone all in on blood. Life expectancy plus five. Ah, I, I would never have taken that one personally. I don't think it's that ne necessary. I want to have a look at the activities tree. Traditional carling weddings, walking the sacred paths, deigning to visit, family recipes, field of the cloth of gold. Gives has to loot a trade experience up by 50%. Would be very cool. Patronage as well. Wow, there's some really cool stuff that I would really like to look at. Ugh. If only we were dynasty head, huh? And they've already spent so much renown. Good God. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get there eventually. Don't worry about it. Let's have this grand wedding. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Applicable household, thank you. We got one more year, less than that. We've got a few months, and then hopefully the grand wedding still works, even though we went into a uh, regency. Mayor Nord wants to be on the council. That uh, Mayor Nord can be patient and wait. And any time now. I'm still not sure whether to spend the. Oh, Emperor Bertel gains opinion of us. I'm not sure whether to spend the money on upgrading like the mine or going for that holy order. Would be quite nice to have on our doorstep, eh? Although this is, what was it, the Knights Hospitaller were the ones that took, the, on the Knights of the Mediterranean. There was some holy order that took Sardinia for themselves. I don't remember. It was, a, it was a long time ago. How am I supposed to remember these things? Hello. Oh, you've arrived. Duke Arsenio has arrived to pay homage to us. Ah, he doesn't speak our language, but he, he tried his best. That's very good. Good effort, Arsenio. It's not an easy language. Perfect. We're going to skip over that event. Because we have something far more important happening. Oh, there is no grand wedding. It was cancelled. Why, when you click that, does it do that? Very odd. <laughs> um, 710 gold is the average cost. I really want to do it. Even though we don't have to do it. The grand wedding was just put aside because we travelled. Which seems like a really... Seems like that could be quite easily abused. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. That's not what we do here. We're going to go with the Grand Wedding. Because it was just an unfortunate side effect. Let's do it. We can organize the Grand Wedding. We are not going to be founding the Holy Order. Let's do it. It's going to cost us 710 gold minimum. <laughs> we will obviously have it in Cagliari. 
And we don't need to hire the captains. We don't need a caravan master because we're not going anywhere. Let's go for diplomacy. We can't choose anybody for diplomacy. I don't know if that's a bug. Um, let's go recreation then. Oh, my, my, my guy loves the feast. Why would we not do that? Um, activity options. Obviously, we go all in on the troubadours. We're going to go all in on the feast. We're going to go all in on the venue. Oh, okay. We can't afford it. Um, let's drop the entertainment. We can't afford the venue no matter what. Let's let's do it that way around then. 908 gold. That's a real shame that we can't blast up there to the highest level of wedding venue. That's such a shame. We're just a few gold short. Damn. We could, we could wait, right? I don't have to do it, like, urgently. You have three years. Right, in that case, I think we wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean dynasty head changed? How is it not me? Did you die to a bravon? How? How am I not the leader of House Carling? I'm a double king. Oh, okay. So we did lose that land, sadly. We can take that back. That's not a problem. We, we can go to war with France. We've got the Byzantine Empire at our back now. Let's save up. Let's have the grandest of weddings. Another interminable council meeting went until my ears are pricked up by my Chancellor Gwilym's winsome tones. Urgent business, my lord. Sardinia's in dire need of a seneschal. Um, sure. Whatever. There. You can... Gwilym can be... That's fine. Duchess Yotta was just elected head of our... What? How, who... How is this chosen? Is it by prestige? Is it by our particular house renown? But wait, no, it's the dynasty renown that... I just don't know. I just don't know. Very bizarre. If there's a way we can make ourselves house head, by all means... Oh, sorry, dynasty head. By all means, please let me know. I'd love to um, push our way up there. My chancellor, Gulam and I are ambling through the garden, laughing raciously at a rhyme overheard a servant tell when Mayor Anod crosses our path. My lord, there is something I have to discuss. Uh... Fine. People aren't happy that we have uh, Gwilym de Narbon on the council. He's taking a lot of power. He is taking a lot of power, but, you know, we're trusting. As the echoes of Gwilym's last sound uh, effects dissipate into birdsell, Marinard's mind is, as, mind is as serious as ever. Slowly from the corner of her mouth, a hint of a smile experiences. There you go. Everybody, he's winning everyone over. What a great guy. This is going to be very expensive. Why am I wasting so much money on a... <laughs> on a feast that we don't even need. Oh, no. We can record the memory of King Morang. Okay, I think I've got to do it. I've got to take it. We can afford to do this. Don't worry. We've got two years. We've got two years. I was born on this day 47 years ago. It saddens me I've not heard from my wife, Catherine, because it's a birthday party. We'll take the biggest gift. We've become the owner of a serpentine badai. Thank you. How kind. Uh, it's stress gain minus 2%. Fine. Okay, we'll equip that. It's not a problem. We've also got a Royal Court artifact I can slap out there now. It's probably that book that we just wrote, right? Um, we've already got that displayed. Where, where can I display it? Oh, I guess because we've already got a book on display, right? I don't remember exactly where we put it. Why can I not display this? Oh. The pedestal wasn't there. How strange. And we throw this one on display too? Oh, because we've already got two on display. I see. I understand now. Um, that's fine. You know what? That's okay. We can deal with it. Keep saving. For God's sake, stop spending money. <laughs> I can't help it. We keep getting just such good stuff popping up. Um, extort subjects, war profiteer, Herigeld. Uh, let's go with war profiteer. Fine. And then let's finally move away. Foreign affairs focus. Shit, I don't think we're going to be able to afford it in time, are we? How long have we got? We've got two years. We're making 15 gold per month. Who are we going to educate? Pano Chocolat. You know what? We'll educate him, and then we can have Pano Chocolat and Biscotti educated together. Hopefully, they'll become friends. We've got another knight. Very good. Ooh, and the Teutonic Order. Oh, interesting. Wow. Fair enough. Um, event timed out. A flesh wound. You're getting 25 gold. Oh, thank you. Very good. How much was it again? We've got 21 months. I still don't think we're going to be able to afford it, are we? Hang on. Grand wedding. How much do I need to save up? Let me keep a mental note of this this time. So we go that one maximum. That one maximum. 1,268. It's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen, is it? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. We've got 21 months, 15 gold per month. Actually, we should just be able to afford it. That's going to be bloody close then. Was it 2,158? Hopefully, we'll get an event. Some sort of windfall. Because of our spouse's good stewardship. Something like that. Come on. See it through. You can make it happen. I believe. 
Create an accolade. We can, ask the, can we ask the Pope for more gold? I promise I'll use it for good reasons this time. Ooh. Royal Court is now at grandeur level 9. Very good. And we did send it. 2158. We're actually going to get there. We're going it very close. Do died for us to become the new dynasty head. Again, makes absolutely no sense. Okay, just do not miss this. Do not miss this. Otherwise, we're going to make an enemy of the Byzantines. Prince Croissant of Sardinia has died. Oh, he died of cancer. That's so sad. Oh, shit. How awful. Okay. Um, we need a new steward then. That's an unfortunate time, just as we're saving up. Let's flip you over to collect taxes temporarily, just so that we can guarantee 2158. Remember, we need one more month. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about cutting it close. All right, I'll get a little bit more cash in the coffers in case there's any events that ask for a little bit more gold. We'll stretch it as far as possible. Three months. We'll, we'll, we'll do it next month. Okay, stop. We got a diplomacy perk. Very nice. Okay. Um, benevolent intent befriend. I, I like groom to rule. Let's, let's already throw ourselves behind the next generation. Look at that. Biscotti Carling increased his marshal by two. This kid is six years old and has ten marshal, ten stewardship. Oh, Biscotti, I have high hopes for you, my friend. Okay. We can ask the Pope for gold. Can we? Is he going to reply in time? He did. Holy shit, we've actually somehow managed to pull this off. Right, before I forget, then let's flip you back over to cultural acceptance. Let's get this grand wedding. <laughs> wow, what a silly guy. What a silly guy. What a waste of money, more importantly, because we didn't even have to do this, don't forget. 1,268 gives us 500 gold basically left over to spend on all the other activities. We don't need captains. We don't need forest guides. Thank you. Let's start. How expensive was that? My God. They're traveling over. Very good. Seven months. Oh, that's cool. My husband, have you heard what they call you? My wife Catherine says to me, they call you King Pano Chocolate the Compassionate. Spectacular, is it not? It's on the lips of peasants and nobles alike. A cause for celebration. That is playing the character perfectly, huh? A gracious paragon. And clearly I must have played him well because we've got a nickname that suits him perfectly. What a cool guy. That's, so, uh, that's a really nice outcome. I'm super happy with that. Biscotti at the age of six has 12 Marshall. Oh my god, this is it. Like, Morang really turned things around. Morang, even though he was a drunkard, he was a bit of a pisshead. The man bought this realm together. This guy, the compassionate, the unifier, maybe between the French and the Sardinians. And then his son and heir. Oh, he's going to be a warrior. He's going to be a mighty unifier. The spouses Creme Brulee and Callistos are both here looking radiant in their best attire. Wow. My wife is impressed, as she should be. Let's turn the speed down and really enjoy this, given how much money, you know, I've spent on this. I'm enjoying the ceremony. Proud of what I managed to organize. Everything has gone well so far, and as soon as I think I know, I've jinxed it. Creme brulee freezes in confusion, having forgotten what the next step of the ceremony is. We can step in and defuse it. 85% chance that we defuse it and gain 300 lifestyle experience. Or we say, it happens. Let's step in and, A, defuse the situation. Exactly what I was hoping for there. Wow. What a great event. What a great event. Creme Caramel Carling is impressed by my effigy of a saint. Thank you. I mean, you've grown up all the way around it. Why did Paradox send it so hard with the animations? <laughs> Someone left a comment the other day, and I've been watching them ever since, and they just go so hard, don't they? Wow. The day has finally come, and I couldn't be prouder of Creme Brulee, the beautiful bride. As the person standing by my side, I wittingly discovered, look at her, isn't she radiant? And it's a good match. It's Macaron. My sister and friend. Aren't you proud or aren't you jealous? No. I'm just so proud. And the Pope's here. The Pope's here to officiate. Emperor Bert Holt praises the fresh quail. Oh, he arrived. Whoa, 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 look at this guest list. We've got the Byzantine Emperor. We've got the Holy Roman Emperor. We've got the King of Castile. Pope Sergius Moneybags. <laughs> oh my god, the Caliph turned up. Whoa. Wow, we really have quite the guest list, don't we? Jesus, this might be one of the nicest grand weddings I've ever seen. And the Basilius gave me a royal gift of eight, uh, uh, sorry, of 222 gold, taking us up to 817 gold all in. We can upgrade that mine if we really want to. Amazing. This is so nice. This, this is like my best work, yeah. And there you go. The ceremony has reached its climax. The traditional rituals have been completed. As they both say, I do, the crowd starts cheering. My wife is uh, winning people over. Very good for her. And we're getting a commander. Very good. 
with all the formalities behind us, it's time to celebrate. This is the thing my guy's really been looking forward to the most. He's compassionate. He does love a feast. The acceptance between French and Greeks has increased by 5%. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Fair enough. Sight, taste, touch, smell, even sound. No human sense is left untouched by the scale and grandeur of the evening's food. Mmm, this is how you throw a feast. Isn't it all quite rich? Style over substance isn't a good quality in a meal, I find. I pick the main dishes personally. Or, yes, Michael, things aren't quite how I imagine them. I Look, I think we would grow... Uh, if, if my guy's going to be a good diplomat, he needs to pick his battles. And I think he would, of course, try and back the uh, Byzantine Emperor. So we're going to agree with him. And we're actually going to learn a learning lifestyle perk for it. Very good. We gain a favor hook on King William II. That's fun. Every wedding banquet is host to some, frankly, interminable number of speeches. Shall we praise the happy couple, praise the party, or say something sweet but perfunctory? No, let's uh, let's do our duty. Lose stress because we are compassionate. Exactly what we're known for, right? This is interesting. As the wedding host, I should be spending time with the couple and their families, but I can't tear myself away from my friend Macaron. I see creme brulee starting to glare at me. What a joy it is to have Macaron here. Or creme brulee, come and join us. 46% chance that maybe they become friends. Let's sneak out so we can talk properly. Maybe upset our daughter quite a lot because we're disappearing from a wedding. Or, excuse me, let's go see her. Let's go see Creme Brulee. You can't ignore your daughter on the on the day of her wedding. Seems very inappropriate. What's she doing again? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm glad that the ridiculous hat woman was able to turn up as well. I did everything I could ensuring that Sibylla and Pulciera would be as far away as possible as one another, but still they're arguing. Um, but let's talk about this later. Let's use our diplomacy. Oh, look at that. We gained a level of fame because we've handled this wedding so perfectly. The hall is awash with a riotous parade of acting troops, dancing musicians, and exotic charlatans. Near my seat, both King William and Basilius Michael share their opinions of the display. William, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Or I envisioned it differently, Basilius. Um, again, we'll go with the Basilius. And look at that. You and Basilius Michael VIII have bonded after a delightful conversation. We basically just, you know sucked up to him to be honest oh it's her again pulcheria god jesus gently exit the conversation please it never ends oh <laughs> we didn't have twice in a row we haven't got that diplomacy perk from that event but never mind is there anything more jovial than a good feast guests throng to and fro eating and chatting while the flickering torchlight plays off every wall we can say this is where I want to be and lose 165 stress. Or we say good folk to mingle here with. Every guest with at least one train coming with us gains 20 opinion. I, I like that idea. We don't need to lose the stress. This guy is on cloud nine. This is the best day of his life, right? Fine sculptures, exotic tapestries, and strange flower arrangements. And more festoon the banquet hall. A veritable feast for the eyes. Should we say I picked many decorations for myself and impress the Basilius? Or... But hold is right. It's not what I had in mind. Well, we're already friends with the Basilius, so let's try and impress the Holy Roman Emperor. And now it is the bedding ceremony. Look at that. You are engaged in the wedding night. Am I now? Wow. The newlyweds have taken their leave, consigned by the families to the bedchamber chamber to consummate their union. So, now we can really let loose and gain some eager reveler traits. Been wanting to talk to uh, Gim Sheng, because we're trusting. Or, it looks like a poor Arsenio is falling asleep. We're compassionate so we can take him to bed. You know what? We've been looking forward to this feast. Let's go for the Eager Reveler perk. I like that a lot. Ah. Tired after a long day's waiting and socializing, my daughter's sister and I scond ourselves at the table to mull over the union. She speaks quietly. You know, I must say I still have misgivings. I worry for my niece. How can an unbeliever like him to be trusted? He will twist creme brulee away from the god. Creme caramel is not... Creme caramel speaks quietly. Oh, no. Macaron. No, Creme Caramel is just confused. She seems to think her sister is her niece. For whatever whatever reason. Surely you see, niece. The alliance with House Ducas must come before her happiness. I feel like you're close to the truth, daughter. Or trust me, it's a good match. Or it's in God's hands now. Um, I feel like you are close to the truth, daughter. Maybe she will be corrupted. But you know what? We're com I, th I think we're compassionate. I think we see the point of the alliance. But we would also know that I think we'd be a little bit worried about her. Thank you all for coming. Look at that. Prince Brulee of Sardinia married him. 
She gained 30 opinion of us. We gained 1,200 prestige. We gained magnificent host for 20 years, giving prestige, renown, diplomacy, lifestyle experience, stewardship, lifestyle experience, and court vassal opinion. We lost 50 stress. We gained 65 gold on top of the other gold that we got. Every guest gained 10 renown. Look at that. That was good. I'm glad we saved up, to be honest. That was fantastic. What a day. It's been a long episode, but that was, that was you know, what it was all about, right? So, um, I think we go for scholar. Pedagogy. Pedag pedagogy. P pedag pedagogy gives uh, wards additional skills and can become our friends. So, I think absolutely we will choose that one. And hopefully... Infer some more power onto little Biscotti. We've got to check up on him. How's he doing? Look at this kid. Seven years old. Oh, Panashok Lager had some intrigue there. Seven years old, and he's incredible. He's like one of the best martial characters of our whole round. This kid is gifted beyond all shadow of a doubt. With, with his genius trait, obviously Panashokala's intelligent trait, all of the perks that we've got, giving bonuses to him. I've got such high hopes for this kid, and I feel like it hasn't really been metagamed. You know, it was just a coincidence we were happened to be able to pick that last trait that we got, right? We could find a holy order, or we go back to this character's real calling of architecture. Again, he basically had this perk before I'd even, and he would have got it if our previous character lived a couple more years. We can build a bunch of new stuff now. So what is it we're lacking for the mine? Just just money, right? Um, no, I hope if you look at the mine. <laughs> what are we lacking for that? So we need to keep here, which we'll build, then we'll upgrade the mine. We can upgrade chunks of the capital here now, go for like a trade port, which I'm happy to slap down. We're going to make sure we've got enough money to do whatever we want. Grand feast, tournaments, everything. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you for joining me. I think between this character and the last character, we've totally turned things around. Lava gets looking up at us with, with wide eyes and appreciation down there, burning in hell. <laughs> See you all tomorrow.